What are we doing today? Playing with fire. Boots seem like such a simple thing, but I'll tell you what, they can really ruin your day when you blow up a boot and your turbo diesel is no longer a turbo diesel, it's a naturally aspirated diesel. These things need boost to work well. And Tony, have you ever experienced blowing up a boot on your vehicle? I've blown them off. I have not blown one apart though. Never blown one up. Well, tell you what, when you're at the racetrack making a pass and it blows up, it sucks. Or I remember one time I was hauling my race truck to a track up the mountain and I got about halfway up and blew up a boot. I'll tell you what, I had to pull over three times on that one grade because I kept overheating because I, I was trying to get safely off the road to fix it. But I'm telling you what, without boost, your truck is worthless at towing, it's worthless at racing, it's worthless at hot rodding. So factory boots, they, uh, they're okay for factory. They're designed for 25 pounds of boost pressure. When you start adding bigger aftermarket turbos or compound turbos, Boost numbers go up, the factory boots fail all the time. Um, so we came out with this new line of boots. Tell us everything there is to know about boots, Tony. Five plies of Aramid reinforcing. That's why our boots are awesome. Um, most, of what else, most of what else is out there is, has four plies of reinforcing material. Ours have five. Or three and if you go with the eBay, you know, Szechuan Sender specials, <clears throat> they're three ply. Yeah. Um, the other important distinction is um, ours have aramid fiber reinforcing instead of polyester, which is what a lot of your, especially your very cheap eBay boots are going to be. Um, polyester starts to decay or thermally break down around 175 degrees Fahrenheit, um, whereas aramid is rock solid to about 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, there's some other so as low as 175 yeah. pounds the polyester starts to degrade yeah that's the that's the glass transition temp on the poly yeah so i know guys that have had polyester boots on their turbo even a single turbo and they're only at 40 pounds of boost maybe 300 degree discharge temperature short term and they can't figure out why they get about two months out of their boot and it blows up and ruptures mm -hmm. sounds like it's starting to yeah become brittle yeah, it's, it, takes, it takes about 300 degrees to really give a polyester boot a hot supper, but at, at 175, you're starting to change that grain structure of the molecules. So, so um, we've had a lot yeah. of fun developing these boots, playing with different brands of boot factory and otherwise in the toaster oven and the, and the convection oven that we have. And uh, what do you got over there for us? So these were at 550 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. This, as you can see, is no bueno. Uh, this looks like somebody did some spray insulation foam on it. <laughs> yeah, that just came out of the boot. Yeah, oh, it, it literally roasted like a marshmallow in there. Um, this is a four ply polyester boot from eBay. Um, and yeah, you can see it's just not. So that went yeah. through the, the elastic state. What is it flexible now? What happens if you give it a little, little Little squish. So here's the cool part. This is actually stuck to the tray, but if you uh, if you start doing that, it sounds healthy. Yeah, it's probably fine. I mean, I'd run it, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> now so, squeeze the factory boot. What's that next one there? So the factory boots are actually aramid fiber, and they have either three or four plies depending on the year of your vehicle, but they're very thin. You can hear there's no, nothing, nothing hinky no going crunching, on in there, so no they can crunching, handle it. so they can handle it. Our boots are five ply, they're much thicker, and you know, Now again, why do ours have the steel rings on them? So basically the, the, the reinforcing is what's holding the silicone material together because silicone is a, it's a plastic, it's a, it's a, it's a big spring, it's very stretchy and, um, Basically, on the factory boots, they're counting on the strength of the reinforcing to hold the actual material together from the pressure that's, you know, trying to make it expand. The steel rings 
are there so that they have some actual mechanical support uh, from a steel ring as opposed to just the reinforcing material. So Now we've tested these a little bit. Factory boots, you get around 70 pounds, they get pretty iffy. I've had some hold up to 90 with a bunch of duct tape and wire reinforcement. We'll call it some Will Terry ingenuity uh, reinforcing, but you know, they look like garbage and they performed, you know, okay when they did perform. Um, with these steel rings, I mean, these things are gonna, they're gonna hold well over 100 pounds of boost. The only other problem you run into with boots, you've noticed how short the factory ones are. The reason our boots are longer is when you get really high boost, sometimes you need room for two clamps on there. If you're up there like that 130, 140 pound range. The other thing we've noticed with just these clamps that we have, they have this huge nut on them. They have about three times the thread engagement of a regular clamp. When, you, when I used to play with factory clamps and boots like that, I would routinely strip out the nuts on them because you're getting them as tight as you can so they don't blow off. So what's cool about these spring clamps is they have a spring to keep tension if the boot relaxes, or, but if you really crank them in and coil bind the, uh, the spring here, so you can get just monster load on there uh, to the point where it'll start cutting the boot from the outside. You don't pull the threads and strip them out. And so that's why we have these really awesome spring clamps that go along with, with these. Now you don't have to buy the spring clamps, but to me, there's no point in having a bulletproof boot without a good clamp to hold it on there. Any other little closing thoughts on these new, new boots? So we currently have four sizes available. We have two and three quarter to three inch. Now, what would that replace? What's common use for that? That's usually going to be your high pressure um, on like your on common the rail, like yeah. the HE351 outlets, two and three quarter, and then it goes to a three on the cold pipe. What's this one? Well, and where I was going with this is on a lot of compound setups, we'll use this as, a, as the secondary compressor discharge as well. Um, this is a three to three by six inch boot. This is, um, it's a Lego. I mean, three inch piping is probably the most common size of piping that's used in these trucks. So you can use it just about anywhere. Now this is special. This is a three to 3.69, six inches long. And this, this side right here is an oddball size specifically for the second gen charge air cooler, um, connections. So on the intercooler, they're not three and a half, they're not four. You put a four, they're loose, and you have to have a bunch of clamps to hold it. You try to get a three and a half and a five ply, and you can't stretch it in a five ply is too stiff. You need the actual right size, which is why we've done this. Even with a four ply, it's a bear. Like I hate, that's mm -hmm. my least favorite boot to put on a truck if it's not designed mm -hmm. like this one to actually fit the intercooler. What's this last one here, the three to four? That's a three to four, uh, four inches long. And, and it's a shorty so that we use it on compound turbos routinely yep. to go from the yeah we use we use that one um as the as an inner stage boot between the uh high and low pressure turbos so anyway so we got four sizes here more sizes will come comment below if there's a size that you think you need it's really hard to find but um yeah these are new product they're coming out they've got a sweet power driven logo on them good clamp and they're not going to melt i mean what else can you say? They're, they're dang near indestructible, right? They're my favorite boots. <laughs> Thanks. Like, subscribe. Check us out on the next video, and uh, maybe we'll play with fire again for you.